Just one psalm will change everything in your life. Read this and make your enemies suffer like that hell. They will run far from you. They will never torment you again. Pray with this psalm and you will be untouchable. No enemy can stand you after reading the psalm. This psalm will change everything in your life. Let me tell you, most of the problems, the hardship, the evil occurrences we experience daily is actually caused by the oppression of the enemy. It is God's wish that we prosper, we succeed, we make it. But if you are not prospering in what you do or at what you do, you are not prospering. You are not making it. Your labor does not pay off. You work and you work in vain. Because in the morning, it is very painful. When you take your bath, you go on the road, you get to your place of work. Throughout that day, money does not come. No customer, or maybe few customers. Or maybe you are praying for a good job, but you are still suffering in a very small job. Of course, you cannot leave that job because you have not gotten a better job, you need that at least to live life in a little way, to survive. Let me use that word survive. And because you are in that small work, let me tell you, at times it might be difficult to get a better work because in most companies, they hardly grant permission. Let's say you apply online for other jobs when they call you for interview, you take excuse, and there are some. They go through different sessions of interview. So this has actually kept some people at one spot for a long time. No time to search or look for other jobs. Except you are giving break. But if the Lord is with you, he will create time for you. He will make things easy for you. That is the work of the devil to tie you down at one spot. If nothing is working for you, or maybe your marriage is not working, you are always having issues, or maybe your partner does not show concern or love like he or she used to. I'm referring to both male or female, wife or husband, okay? You understand? They don't show that affection. They have changed suddenly you should know that there is something beneath just an ordinary offense when it comes to that at times the devil can send people even women or men to put asunder in your marriage yes your children look at your children they are not doing fine in school they are not doing fine academically if you have grown-up children they are not successful. After you train up your children, it is your pride that they are successful and take good care of you so that you will enjoy the fruit of your labor. You should be enjoying the fruit of your labor. You cannot labor in vain. It is not your portion. So when you see all of these things, know that it is time to pray. Pray with the psalm. Destroy every evil work of the enemy. When things are so rough, from one problem to another, from one sickness to another, from one trouble to another, nothing is giving you joy. At times, you check your life, check your family, check your marriage. Nothing actually gives you joy. There is nothing you look at and say, hey, I'm so happy. Nothing. Everything is breaking. Nothing is working. You are tired of praying. Do not be tired of praying because God is working your miracle. But do not fold your hands. Do not. Always engage the devil in a battle. And very soon, they will flee away from you. Thank you so much for watching. May God bless you. Please subscribe if you have not. Turn on the bell notification beside the subscribe button to always get updates. Please give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends. And to you, my beloved returning subscribers, may God bless you. May God honor you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.
So get your Bible and open to Psalm 91. This Psalm is very powerful. I know that many of you, you know this, but maybe you don't know how to apply this, how to use this to torture your enemy. There is one way to use this, to torture your enemy. When you read the Psalm, after reading the Psalm, you open it like this, on your bed, and sleep. Do the same in your children's room. Opening the Bible in your bedroom while going to sleep at night is a powerful protection because the Bible contains the words of the Lord. It is this Bible that links us with God. God does not come to you physically to speak. The Bible is one of the most important ways God speaks. Though God also speaks through your trance, your vision, your dream, but the Bible is number one. So this contains the words of the Lord. The words of God is powerful. This is one way. This is one way. When you open your Bible, after praying with it, no demon can try it. No demon can try it. This is one way to drive away evil spirits. Even if there is evil, there are evil powers in that arena. They will fly away. They will not come close to you, your household, when you do this. Another way is to get a bowl of water, a bucket of water. You add your anointing oil. You dip your right hand in that water and get your Bible. Read Psalm 91. Okay? And pray while your hand is still in that water. Then you use that water, you add it to your bathing water and add in your children's bathing water. They will use it to bath. You can now sprinkle around your house. I never said add salt. Do not add salt to this. Let's talk about reading the psalm. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High God shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Today, this moment, I abide under the shadow of the Almighty. This is how to declare it, not just to read, but to declare this. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Oh God, you are my refuge. You are my fortress. You are my protector. You are my deliverer. Oh Lord, you are my refuge. Begin to tell God that He is your refuge. He is your protector. He is your savior. In you I trust. I trust you, O oh Lord, for protection. I trust you, O oh Lord, for deliverance. I trust you, O oh Lord, for blessing. Surely he shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His trust shall be my shield and buckler. So you pray with that. You declare that, O oh Lord, deliver me from the noise and pestilence, evil attack, demonic attack, demonic attack, evil attack. Deliver me from all the plot of the enemy. Cover me with your wing. Let me find rest and safety in your shield. This is how you pray with Sam. You don't just read. You read, you stop, and you pray with it. You declare it to yourself. Oh Lord, I am protected in your wing. Oh Lord, shelter me and my family. Shelter us, oh Lord. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted as no day. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come near thee. Even if people are dying, there is destruction. It will never get to you and your family members. Never. It will never affect you and your family members. No matter what is going on. The Lord will stand and defend you. Only with your eyes you will see the destruction of the wicked. How the wicked ones will be destroyed and put to shame. Read the whole of this psalm and declare it to yourself. Oh Lord, under your shelter will I live. 
my family members and I, my children, we are under your shelter. We are under your protection. No evil shall come near us. Where there is evil, we shall escape it. Anywhere evil thing is happening, we shall escape it. A thousand might fall, ten thousand at my right hand, but it will never get to near my family. No evil in the nation, in the country, in my area will get to me and my family. The enemy will see us and pass us by in the name of Jesus Christ. Therefore, no evil shall befall thee. You claim it. No evil shall befall me and my family members. No evil will ever befall me and my family members. In the name of Jesus, neither shall any plague come nigh their dwelling. No plague shall come near your dwelling. What is plague? Destruction. Evil. Problems. We never see you because you are a child of God. No evil will come to you. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in every way. He will put all his angels in charge of you. Pray with this. Oh Lord, put your angel in charge of me. Put your angel in charge of my children. Put your angel in charge of my family members. We call for protection, O oh Lord. They shall bear thee up in their hand, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. The angel of the Lord will bear me up in their hands. They will bear you up in their hands so that you will not hit your foot on a stone. So that you will not be attacked. So that the enemies will not touch you. So that no evil can come close to you. They will lift you up. They will raise you up. That is the work of the angel of the Lord. God will send his angels to protect you. To lift you up above your enemy. Above every evil plan, in the name of Jesus, amen. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon. Shall thou trample under feet? You shall trample upon lions and scorpions. That lion and scorpion represent evil. No matter what they spray on the floor, no matter what they have done, no matter the trap they have set for you, you will step on it. And you will survive. There are people, they are poisoned. Even if they eat this poison, but they will not die. There is nothing the enemy will do that will attack you, that will affect you. It will never affect you because you are under the protection of the Lord. Pray with this, sir. And every enemy will suffer. They will never come close to you. With your eyes, you will see their pain. It is then the sun. Only with your eyes will you see the destruction of the wicked. Only with your eyes will you see the torment of the wicked. Only with your eyes will you see the pain of the wicked. Only with your eyes will you see the agony of the wicked. They will suffer and leave you alone. No plot, no evil shall come near you. And when you separate yourself from evil attack, everything will change in your life. Things will start working for you because everything done by the enemies that was causing blockage will be removed. When the Lord protects you from evil attack, He is destroying all their plans. He destroys all their plan, all their plots, all what they have done, every cost on your finance, every cost on your family, every cost on your children, every cost of failure, every cost of limitation. He is breaking these causes and you will be free. To progress so read the psalm not just to read but you pray with it declare it for yourself and your family members and no evil shall come near you your enemies will be scared of you because the angel of the lord will always raise you up and no devil can dare come close to god's angels thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you have not turn on the bell notification to always get updates please share this video